Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this unusual Photoshop Elements Invert Colors Selfie Effect. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share. The more likes and shares I get, the more videos I can do. Also, make sure you subscribe. I do a lot of videos every single week. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. You'll find a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. We'll be doing this Photoshop Elements Invert Colors Selfie Project from this photograph right here. Now, if you want to work along with the same picture, you can download this from my website. There's a download link in the description. We'll start off right now with making a selection around this person. So I'll just grab the lasso tool right there. Make sure you're set at new. There it is. And I have mine set for a feathering of one pixel. It just helps to smooth that edge down a little bit. And then make a nice little selection. This can be a fairly quick selection right around the edge, just outside of the main foreground subject in here. And let's go clear up around the top and then over here and wrap it up just like that. Okay, there's our basic selection. We're now going to refine the edge and pull this in so we get all those nice hairs and so forth. And that's using the Refine Edge button right down there. There it is. Now in here, over on View Mode, I have this set on the Overlay, which makes it real easy to see where that edge is. And then also come down to Edge Detection, set this at Smart Radius. And then start right against that edge. And then work your way in, in towards your subject. So you start out far out like that, and then just work your way in. Now, sometimes in here, you may have to go back several times if you have some of these enclosed areas. Let's see how that works right down here. Working out pretty well. Let's come from the bottom this time. I think that catches it all. There we are. And same thing, just continue to work around and work in until you're right up against your subject. Do one side first and then go over and do the other side. Get that right now. And this gets you all those little fine hairs in there. Now on this particular video, we will be putting the image back on top of itself. So you don't have to be that critical here because anything underneath is just going to be the same image. So it makes it a little bit easier here. I'm not putting a different background in anything like that. We're using the same background. And just work your way right around and right down to the beginning point. Okay, there's our basic selection. Let's now go over here where it says Output 2 and change this down to New Layer with Layer Mask and choose OK. So there is our subject separated out from the background. And you can see we still have all our little wispy hairs in there. So real nice selection. And as you can see here, there's a layer mask which is now hiding the background. If I show our background layer again, there's the background layer. Now come down to the background and then right click on the name and choose Duplicate Layer and choose OK. Just makes a copy. Take this and drag it above that other layer, so this is the top layer, and then hide that. We'll come back to that in just a bit. Now come down to this layer here, and we're going to do our invert color right on this layer. Click on the image side, look for that light blue outline, you see it right there. And then go up to Filter, and come down to Adjustments, and Invert. And that makes that into a negative image. There's your negative image. Now if you look along the edge, it's a little bit weird right in here, and that's going to be on the layer mask. So I want to clean that up just a bit. So let's try that again now. Black hides, white shows. I want this more hidden, so I need more black on this edge. So I'll invert the colors. Go up to the black paintbrush. That looks kind of nice. And make sure you're on that side. So I'm on the layer mask side. I'm just going to paint right along this edge, just a little bit there, just to hide that little bit of ghosting that was showing in there. That's all that needs to be done. OK, that's good and cleaned up. Go back over onto the image side, double click for your image side. Now I want to show the face again, and that's why we have this layer on top. So just bring this layer up, and then come down here to the layer mask, hold the Alt key down, and pull that straight up. What that has now done is it has now used this, this is now hiding this whole background. What we need to do now is we need to hide the rest of this part on this image, and that's going to be showing us that negative image, that inverted colored image in behind. 
So click onto the right side over here. This is your layer mask side. And then using that paintbrush again, there it is. You can adjust your size if you want to. The larger brush is going to give you a softer edge. A smaller brush will be a harder edge. And then just begin painting in towards the face. And just come right along that edge just like that. And you can paint out whatever it is that you want to get rid of. And you can go clear to the edge. Outside here, it doesn't matter if you're painting out here because you're just painting black on black. And that's already been handled with the previous layer mask. So all you really need to worry about is the part right around the main subject's face, the part that you want to keep. So just take your time around there, be careful, and make a nice selection, nice little paint job right around that face. And the nice thing about this is if I mess up, I can always come back in and paint white to fix that. Let me just demonstrate. Let's say I did this and I messed that up. Just invert your colors and then paint white on this part and you can bring that back in again. So you can actually work back and forth this way until you get just exactly the right color. So black for most of this and just work our way around. There we go. And once we're around the face, then you can just quickly and easily go around and clean up the rest of this pretty fast, just like that. There we go. So as you can see, it's a very fast technique, and we're only showing in negative the subject's shirt down here and the subject's hair, and then leaving the face in the regular positive view. So there we go, real fast, real easy, doing an invert color effect just on the hair and the figure, and leaving the face in the positive effect, or in this case, we're actually putting that on top of the negative. Let me just hide those two layers and you can see what's on this top layer. There it is. There's some little spots in here. I'm just going to clean these up. I'm still on that layer mask side. I'm still using that black. Just a little bit of cleanup right there. That's good. Let's go ahead and bring these back in again. There is the negative part of that. That's the inverted color section in here. And then there's our original background again. So there you go. Kind of a fun little interesting looking selfie effect using a Photoshop Elements Invert Colors trick. Don't forget if you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button and also hit that share button. Both of those help me make more videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And again, there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.